Abstergo. Hello, Initiate. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop! Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Bex. I've got a picture. ETA on the payload? Sending it now. A lot to sift through. I'm gonna get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now, I am eager to try this new kit. I don't like it when those two go off book like this. <sighs> well, all we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the piece of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry. Twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you, begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control, no industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison, no person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. And so, as you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid, Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond, to kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered, though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you time and time again, whosoever controls London, controls the world. The Iron Ships from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? What a question. All right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. 
Jacob! Evie! May the creed guide you, you vagrants! Poor man. More afraid than ever. The years have not been kind. Evie Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. like this. It's disrupting the other workers. Shut this trap and get the machine fixed. And send me some laudanum for my head. Coming right up. Alright. Sorry about that pause there. I had to mess around with some graphic settings, but... Welcome to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I have purposely not looked at a single thing for this game. Just so I can, you know, experience it myself. Uh, saying as how it came out on like the 23rd of last month. Uh, a good a good while before the, uh, the PC version. I guess I could have seen how it ended and looked at reviews and stuff, but I didn't want to. I just wanted to enjoy it myself. There is very little I know about this, for once. Usually I look at everything I can about Assassin's Creed, but... What do you think you're doing? Stop now, this trouble! I specifically didn't want to. No one goes in or out, unless there's a problem. I hold the machines. That door opens, and I have my route to Ferris. Oh. Alright. So, so let's sabotage these machines real quick. Always work on the fly. All I really know is that for once you play as like two assassins and they're twins. Uh, this guy is more uh, brute kind of guy. And uh, your sister, or your twin sister, is more stealth, from what I understand. We there we go, we're costing them money. Sanitary inspector. This man is dead. You're the dead man. Run along out. Oh, we're gonna fight. This is a lot, a lot more fluid of a combat system already. Okay, this is gonna be fun. B. Why did I think it was white? So the game was literally released. 10 minutes ago. Oh shit. It's gonna be interesting <laughs> relearning all these controls again. That was it. Can I loot these guys? Nope. I can sneak. Take my hat off and pull my hood up. Keep the hat on. We got like bad eyes here. Um, Ferris. The industrial era is definitely going to be interesting. Mr. Ferris has mandated so I will get like what? Two options? We'll go this way. Time to head for higher ground. Oh, are we going to get up on the crane? Yep. <laughs> Any missing fingers? What a nice guy. What the hell? Oh.
I thought I would have done like a. That's pretty badass. Oh, hey, buddy. Detection. Enemies who see you will become suspicious. If you stay in the line of sight, they'll become aggressive and attack. Move behind cover to lose enemies. They will investigate your last known position. Hey, buddy. I'm looking forward to to uh, building my gang. That should be pretty good. Loot hold. There we go. Now we can loot. Three pound. Hell yeah. Looks pretty good. For some reason, <clears throat> the first time I launched the game, it like launched me in 800 by 600 on the. All on low settings for some reason. Not sure why that happened. Oh shit, nice. Throw one. I didn't even know I threw one. Nice. This combat system looks pretty badass. Pretty brutal. Which is good. Put my hat back on, you know, blend in, of course. Just wanted to see what the running attack was. Let's try to sneak. That was pretty badass too. Dumb. And let's get her to these guys over here. Double. Well. Double kill. I'm guessing, uh. What the hell? I can go in through here if I wanted. Can I climb? Oh, I guess I have to. I thought I was gonna go. Well. Heavy. Alright. I'm guessing this is the more brute tutorial, then we'll probably switch to our sister. And it'll be like a stealth. Maybe. I don't know. Stealth. Oh, no, never mind. Sneaking makes you harder to detect and allows you to move faster. The stealth ring shows enemies above and below. From behind cover, hold left trigger to aim, then right trigger to throw knives. There's Eagle Vision. Oh. Hello? I'm gonna be right up his ass. Come on, buddy. Come on. He was more distracted by his friend's body than me. Alright, so you can't really see people through walls very well. But 
once you have them tagged, you can. All right. Probably. Come on over, bro. Well, he gave me a throwing knife. I wonder will this guy give me both mine back? Uh, no. Okay. Well then. I wonder can I do a ledge takedown? Hello? No, maybe not. Rip arm. I guess he's gonna wake up with a broken arm. That'll be fun. What are they doing with the kids? He's kicking kids, what the hell? I don't think there was actually any guards down there. There's kids hiding everywhere. Mr. Ferris, sir. Uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine. But dock his wages. Yes, sir. It looks like a freaking cannon. You arrive at a final price, Mr. Ferris. I don't think it is. 